Well, I got all my chores done. <laughs> wow. Just over three hours to stack, two hours to split, five hours out of my day. But definitely worth it. So with all my chores being done, I know it's late tonight, but early morning it's supposed to start raining. So I'm just gonna start picking up a bunch of this stuff. And then just kind of go from there. I'm not gonna push that thing. I'm gonna move that and move the table and then back that thing up there with the truck and enough work. So recapping this weekend's work. It is Sunday night, it's about four o'clock. Got all the wood split. The back part is the dry wood, or I'm sorry, the back part is the stuff that needs to dry. The front part is everything that I can actually burn right now. Um, that storage shed is the top of it, seven feet. So seven feet by about six feet wide. So I don't know how much wood it actually is when you talk about cords, but you know, that should be, I've got a couple more dead trees to cut up. And that'll be enough for definitely, you know, just campfires. Keep in mind, this is not for heating a house. This is just strictly for campfires. And up here, if you buy a handful of wood, or I'm sorry, you know, an armful of wood, it's actually five bucks. So, armful of wood, you probably get maybe eight pieces. So, needless to say, just by doing that work alone today, that'll save me probably 300 bucks worth of buying wood compared to, you know, just doing the work myself. Uh, part two was just going through, um, I bought one of those gator grass uh, attachments for a weed trimmer and went through, got, took care of all the little stubs from when all of this was brush. And then we also cleared out a little bit more up on the driveway. Um, probably can't tell it too much. It was just more stuff around the edges. And that's really about it for up there. So, but for down here, you know, as I've mentioned before, and as you've, you've seen in the videos, this trail needed to get extended. So we've actually extended it quite a bit, or actually I did, but since this week, this weekend is a solo trip. <laughs> One funny thing I keep on forgetting to mention is that these solar lights that I've got right here, it's kind of hard to see that one, but we've got some solar lights on the path and some animal keeps on picking them up chewing the ends off and then hiding them throughout the woods so i was walking the path last night and all of a sudden all the way out there in the middle of nowhere i see this light i'm like what the heck is that and i go find out what it is and it's one of my solar lights the whole bottom was completely chewed off so i just stuck it right back in the ground uh and then i found some more way down by the point so I don't know what it is, and here's another one. So I don't know what he did, but he actually destroyed this one today. So I don't know. It could be a fox, because I, I, I actually got a, a video. Uh, there's a quick little video from one of the cameras of a fox uh, right by my truck last night. So uh, it only saw it for a couple seconds, but So, but I mean, yeah, as you can see, the water is just way up. But with all that snow that we had here in Minnesota this year, I, it doesn't surprise me that we have a little frontage road. Uh, it's a little dirt road that we can actually take to go to the gas station. It's a little shortcut. Um, parts of that were, was actually underwater. So we, uh, I, I know how deep it was. So actually it was probably about six inches so not horrible but of course the truck did not get stuck but we've also got 
this extended all the way to the point and it just you can kind of see the trail I mean we got rid of all that brush so uh, I will come back here with the lawnmower and actually really go after all this stuff once it starts kind of coming up again since we had a very late thaw like none of the trees nothing is actually budding out here at all where last year at this time we actually had quite a bit of growth so but then today along with everything else I got a secondary trail cut back here I know it's kind of hard to tell right now because nothing's really grown but once it actually comes in you'll be able to see the difference in this trail compared to everything else around it as you can see we are definitely underwater in a lot of places that's all flooded Decided to climb in the deer stand so that way you can really see the view around here. I've got a little 16 foot tower tripod stand. I've got to secure it a little bit more, but I don't think this thing's going anywhere. But I mean, as you can see, so much is underwater. So, but this gives you a really good view of the property itself. Now, we own all the way to where the river goes out. Um, kind of hard to tell but then over there you can see the river but on the other side of the river we also own a small chunk over there and then on the other side of that that's where we bought up to uh, 400 acres of public land uh, that's owned by a paper mill and they allow hunters to go over there so what's nice is that people will come through here and then they just push everything right back towards us because once the deer get back here, then they've got the river, so. But definitely, as you can see, everything's really up, but I'm kinda glad I did this because this gives you a really good idea. water goes down I'll do a little bit more exploring I don't know if I'm gonna use this for bow or if I'm gonna use this for gun I mean for gun hunting oh I could I could cover everything but I don't know if there's that many deer that come back here in this part for gun so I'll probably have to go across the river for that but it's only to get a boat to actually go across the river bow hunting I know where I'm gonna go there's a choke point it's a natural choke point that I'm just gonna sit right over that and it'll be fine Ideally, I know Becca wanted to plant some apple trees back in here, but I don't know how apple trees do in water, so I'll have to talk to her about that. But this way you can definitely really see what's going on out here. And then the final project of the weekend, besides getting everything cleared out for the camper, was getting the, this area all cleared out. Well, there's still a little bit of work to do down here, but if we needed to, I could easily start planting. So it'll give you a better view, not in the sun. So this whole area is going to end up being a garden and it felt really good just to clear this area out and I mean there's just so much brush down here that it's going to take years to clear out but 
You know what? Once we're done, it'll be worth it. And that's why a lot of people weren't buying this property. And there was nothing here at all. And there was no water, there was no electric, there was no sewer, there was nothing. It was just so overgrown where a lot of people looked at it and they were like, nope, not gonna, not gonna touch it. But we saw it and we saw the potential and, you know, sweat equity. <laughs> so, you know, once we've got a cabin up here, you know, we've got, what, 32 into just the land and that's 20 acres. You know, we build a cabin for a hundred and easily that value of, the, of this whole parcel, I mean, we'll be over 250 easily. So that's kind of what we're, our thoughts were. And yeah, granted we're not right on the lake, but we do have lake access, but we, we are on a river and we can catch a lot of fish on the river is what, we, what we've already proven, so. So now, just started a fire, brought 15 gallons of water up from the river. Um, the winds are a little higher, and with the, you know, with the high uh, fire hazard out right now because everything's just so dry, I brought up a, a bunch of water from the river just so I've got it on standby. So, I'm gonna start cooking here in a little bit, have some dinner, and then tomorrow morning, I'm meeting with some line tech we are marking lines for where the power is going in and then within a couple weeks after that we should be we should be having power up here and next weekend we're going to try to bring the camper up but i don't know we'll see <laughs> but i'm beat i'm gonna have some dinner and it's gonna be an early night absolutely early night so all right i'll check in with you guys later now this morning's project number one is complete. So as I mentioned before, we're going to be putting in a garden back here um, for uh, potatoes, carrots, a lot of stuff that you really don't have to pay attention to. So this morning, what I started on was just clearing out a large area. And that tree is gonna go, that tree's already dead, but right around where that stump is, right up there, that's where I'm going to be putting in the hand pump well. So what'll be nice about that is if we have the garden here and if we do need to water or anything, well, it's right there. And this size garden, Eventually what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna post it off and actually seal it up so that way no critters don't get in there. But right now it's just starting to get everything going, but it's work in progress. So this tree eventually will have to come down before we do that. Cause I mean, that thing's already dead as is. So, but yeah, it's just kind of clearing out the forest as well. Looks like I got some other huge dead trees back here too, so. I got enough dead trees to burn or use for campfire wood for a long time out here. So just a matter of doing the work. Speaking of which, time for me to get back to work. Got a bunch of wood to split yet.